Hello guys, uh, I'm Murugan Priyabharti uh, from third year. So now I'll just give you a few plans and ideas how you can uh, study for your second year and also the uh, mistakes which we did and how wisely you can use your time. So the first most important thing which, which you should keep in your mind is time. So don't uh, be like very slow or demotivated. You have to be very fast in covering all the subjects as much as possible. And the second important thing is plan. Uh, so try to schedule all the things which you have to study for each and every day and every week. So uh, I'll uh, separate it into like first sem and second sem. Uh, for the first sem, the most important subjects will be like four. First one is general pathology. So the next one is pharmacology and the other is uh, ASM. Then you have uh, microbiology. These are the four important subjects. So for each and every subject, you will have both lecture, lab, lecture, lab. So uh, first for general pathology, uh, the most important source will be Robin's book, the textbook which will be preferred by all the doctors. So this is the most important subject for lifelong and whatever competitive exams you attend. Uh, like A to Z about every disease you can learn from this book. So study uh, line by line. Every day you have to spend some time for GenPath. And uh, lab. So lab you will have somewhat uh, tough time um, in preparing for lab. Uh, because it might be uh, very tough in the starting. But try to uh, like ask more doubts and read more in the book about the slides which you uh, see in the uh, lab uh, class. And also YouTube videos are there of our uh, lecturers. Then um, uh, it is important to write notes for each and every chapter. Uh, you should have at least uh, five pages note for every important topics of what all you read from the book because you can't cover the book uh, like for uh, prelim or midterm. You can't study the whole chapter again. You won't have time. So most important points you can note it down in a separate uh, note for every subject. Similarly for pharmacology. So uh, for um, lecture it is important first to know the basic basic uh, concepts and uh, diseases from the PPT. So first you have to go through the PPT and second you have to study the book all the tabular columns especially when you have shortage of time because most will be from the tabular column. So here you will have about the disease and uh, the pathogenesis of the disease and the drugs for each and every step specific pathogenesis how it blocks this step or how it promotes the other step. So you should have knowledge about that uh, not just memorizing all the uh, drug names will be helpful for you and uh, similarly for a pharmacology lab you might be given cases every week it will be from the lectures thought the same week or earlier so uh, when you are given a disease like for example my senior gravis you have to study the ppt and the lecture it might be like nearly just two or three pages in your book you have to study that about the disease in the book the drugs given so and uh, you can practice the questions from google about the disease this might be helpful in your pre-test so don't treat it lightly you have uh, like good percentage of marks for lab also in farm and um, uh, have a written notes of all the drug list and everything so once you write you can uh, get it easily into your mind and uh, for ASM, um, uh, according to me, lab is more important than lecture. So you have to spend more quality time on lab. Because when you are asked to explain in front of a teacher about an organ system or an examination about a particular organ, you have to have earlier knowledge about what is it, how it should be normal and how it, it will be if it is abnormal. So you have to compulsorily study the book for the checklist. So not just memorizing 10 lines from checklist and telling. So it won't be helpful. If you study the checklist along with the points given in the book and recite in front of the teacher, it might be helpful for you in lecture. So studying the lab alone will be like nearly 85% useful for writing your lecture exams. Um, so it is important to concentrate more on um, this lab. So you can use also reference from your seniors, the videos which they do uh, when they had online classes. So it is important um, for future also and you can refer to the uh, first year ASM basics also. 
then uh, next subject will be microbiology uh, so microbiology uh, ppts will be very good so the best option uh, to study for micro first it will be ppt and uh, when it is taught in the class uh, teach, uh, the staff will tell few uh, like extra points which is also equally important might be asked in exam for us when we had the ppt with voice we usually hear the voice more because more questions will be from what they tell other than what is in the ppt and um, lab will be a little bit tough but uh, you have to spend more time on lab also because the questions will be more even tougher and try to study about every organism every page of the ppt and understand it you won't have time to study any other source or book so it is best to study the ppt like from start to end you have to understand the ppt and you can use google for additional pictures and sketchy or any other apps for understanding this concepts uh, so these are the four important subjects and after that you will have clinical pathology so in this subject it will be uh, like similar staff who come to genpath uh, they will be uh, telling about more laboratory test and uh, about this blood test blood groups everything so this will be important also uh, studying ppt and uh, taking notes of ppt might be like good uh, i think it will be enough because you won't have enough time for this uh, other subjects like the four major should be given major importance and after clinical pathology you have your research so don't treat research lightly like what you did in first year because it might be a bit tougher so you should understand the ppt not just studying the lines from ppt and also sir might be providing few links and references at the end of ppt which will be equally important so uh, for research also you should spend at least like 3 to 4 hours a week and um, after that um, you will have neuroscience so neuroscience is one of the most important subject which you will realize in third year but we didn't have enough time to study neuroscience last year uh, so the uh, sir will be giving you ppt and also few articles which are more important uh, for second year they won't ask more questions about treatment actually it will be basic science symptoms and diagnosis Uh, so you should study the articles till that topic you don't have to uh, memorize all the treatment regimens for second year so this will be a uh, good enough for uh, neuroscience so these are the subjects for first semester and for second semester the four major subjects which i told like gen pathology general pathology pharmacology and asm this three will be the same same thing you have to study more on the lecture and lab you have to concentrate more on the ppt and the book also spend more time for the subject microbiology which you had in first year will now be replaced by parasitology so you learn more about this parasites and all uh, for para also lab is more important you will be given more assignments and work for lab so try to learn it uh, by the same day they teach you because uh, you may uh, become like uh, lazy after uh, the lab classes so try to do um, do it well the lecture will be like easy simple you have to listen to the um, voice of uh, what staff tells you along with the ppt and um, there will be other uh, subjects also clean path will be same as what you had earlier research won't be there for your second semester instead of neuroscience you will be having neuropsychiatry so uh, uh, the same as what i told for first semester for neuropsychiatry you have to study the ppt and articles so uh, spend time for this subject also and you will have three minor subjects this year which will become your major subjects in third year which is ob and gynecology that is obstetrics and uh, you will have surgery then pediatrics so these three subjects uh, will be like much more important in third year but try to cover as much as possible for ob the ppts and the highlighted words from the book will be uh, like important it will be somewhat easier all this major signs um, how we elicit the sign and what the basic questions will be asked in ob so you don't have to uh, fear more and uh, for surgery it is a must to study the book because uh, for us we had a very tough time because uh, ppt will be good but uh, you can't expect questions from ppt you have to uh, study the highlighted lines from the book uh, 
and the tabular columns for surgery. Uh, for uh, pediatrics also starting it will be easy like prelim, midterm and all you will learn about this total stage, uh, middle age, everything. But uh, when it is getting near to pre-finals it will be a bit tougher concepts like genetics and all on which you have to concentrate more. Uh, so it will be like more um, um, case based questions in pedia at the end. Uh, so try to study the PPT well. So you won't have I think for this three subjects you won't have enough time to cover the book because you will have an uh, like already a hard time with Genpath, Farm, ASIM and uh, Para. But uh, don't lose hope try to cover as much as possible if not don't worry you can study these book in next year that is in your third year. So um, this is what I think is important for second year you don't have to stress much but uh, don't waste even a minute for uh, second year. Thank you.